I had something really cool to show you. I found this old box and I thought I would turn it in to my very own canvas. So that is what I've done. I made this skyline just using that old box lid. So you don't even need to go and buy an expensive canvas or paper. You can use whatever you have at home. Doesn't it look great? I've used black and then white paint on top to create a cool silhouette effect. Why not try this at home and send me your pictures? So now you're here for one reason and I know what that is. You're here to make a door hanger. So let's wait no further. So don't forget to cover your work surface with newspaper. So let's do that now. So, for this activity, you will need some PVA glue, five lollipop sticks. I'm using jumbo sized lollipop sticks, but once again, you can use any lollipop sticks that come with an ice cream. You'll also need some string. How long is a piece of string? And you'll also need some paint. I've decided to use blue and white for today's activity. And don't forget a paintbrush unless you're feeling like getting messy and doing some finger painting. And finally, you will need some glitter. This is optional, but I do love glitter. So you want to put some glue at the top corner of your lollipop stick. Oops. And now, to hold it together, I'm using one of these tiny little grips that I found from a craft store. It only cost me 5p, but you could use a hair grip, a slide, or anything that pinces to hold those pieces together. Now, you're going to want to put glue in the bottom corner of your second stick now. And then you're effectively making a name A now, my favourite letter. And once again, grip those two together. Oh, I've used a lot of glue for that one. <laughs> now, you want to put some glue on your third lollipop stick at the only end that is free. And once again, grip those two sides together. Can you see what shape I'm making yet? Yes, I'm making a star. So once again, you want to put a little bit of glue on the end that is free. And then clip that together. And then finally, join the last two remaining pieces together. Now we're going to wait for this to dry. Okay, so now remove all of your clips from your star. It may still be slightly wet, so I'll be very gentle with it. Okay, so now is the fun part. We are going to decorate our star. So I'm going to mix my white and dark blue together.
my star is fully painted blue. And now is the fun bit to add some glitter. So I'm just going to add little blobs of glue where I'd like the glitter to stick. <gasps> Look at my hands! They're all covered in blue paint! That is my favourite part of painting, getting all messy. So you're going to put the glue wherever you'd like your glitter to go. I might do some zigzaggy wormy patterns across mine. And then you want to sprinkle your glitter over those areas. Look at all those beautiful colours in my glitter. Okay, and then you want to shake that out. So now how do you think we're going to hang it? Ah, well this is what the string is for. So I'm going to use some rope string for my C bedroom. Now if you're going to cut it, please check with a parent or guardian first because scissors can be very, very dangerous. And then you just want to tie a knot in your string. And it really is as simple as that. So let's have a look what else we can make using that same technique. So here are some I made earlier. Now this one has a very familiar colour scheme. What does it look like boys and girls? Yes, they're bee stripes. And I've customised it by writing a name on it. So you could try this and make your own name tag for your door. Or you could customise it even more and add a photograph. So for this door hanger, I have covered my wooden lollipop sticks in tissue paper and I've popped a photo in. Doesn't it look fantastic? caught me writing my shopping list because next week's activity is a little bit different. We are going to be making our very own Play-Doh so you don't even have to buy it anymore. So you are going to need two cups of flour, two cups of warm water, one cup of salt, two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of cream of tartar. But that is optional. That just makes our Play-Doh a little more elastic. And another optional ingredient is food colouring, so that we can make our Play-Doh a really fun and funky colour. So what are we going to make once we've made our Play-Doh? Well, I was thinking we could make a very hairy, scary dinosaur. If you enjoyed creating art with me today, then please post your pictures on my Instagram account, at ArtieAmelia. Put the hashtag in door hanger so that I can see all of your fantastic work. So until next time, don't forget to like my page and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. See you later. Bye.